and uh, I'll never forget when I was in Europe, I was in Munich with my husband when he was in the army. I was there to stay with him and I got a telegram that my father had passed away to so please come home as an only child. My mother was alone and I felt she needed me. She had a business to sell and so forth. And I remember sitting in the shop uh, getting calls to place people for work. And every t when the woman who called from the employment agency uh, spoke to me and I told her my father had passed away, I heard her start to cry. And I said to her, why are you crying? She says, I've never met your father in person. She spent all these years on the phone. He was a prince of a man. His f shop was not unionized for many, many, many years. And when the, someone from the union finally got a, got a job in the shop and started to unionize the shops, the men didn't want to be unionized because my father was very good to them. In fact, I found a piece of jewelry they gave my father in 1939 that said to A.B., Aaron Bregman, with love from the boys, from the men in the shop. He gave, when the, once the shop became unionized, they lost privileges. My father went beyond. And during the war, he, my, since my father dealt with steel, he could have made a fortune in the black market, even though we struggled. He said, absolutely no. He says, this country's been very good to me. I will not do that.